my legion. I'm here to do uh, make my Jason Count excellent egg salad sandwiches. Now, I know excellent is probably the most obvious of the egg puns, but I'm going with it. Well, I'm going to use I'm going to use a dozen of uh, these uh, Hillendale Farms Grade A large eggs. I got from Surefine. These were a dollar eighty nine a dozen. Uh, well, I said these here. I don't want these to drop. I got some sweet relish. This was low over two bucks. This giant thing of sweet relish from Walmart. I got some. I don't have any uh, mayo. I got whipped salad dressing from Clover Valley. This was like, oh, two dollars something. And why? Yeah, I'm, of course, your hard boiled eggs. I got this is the pan I use to hard boil my eggs, and also to cook my pasta in. You know, and I. You know, hard boil them to empty the water, let the eggs cool. And along with adding these things, I'm going to have some regular cut celery and some onions. And I'm also going to have some uh, minced up onions, celery, and uh, jalapeno peppers to spice it up some. So that, and also I wanted to, this is, uh, see what it looks like when, uh, see how that captures it when, uh, you puree it, and uh, this is an old, uh, this is my food processor, I got this, this is a Black & Decker, and that surprised me, because I didn't know Black & Decker made food processors, I think it was like around 30 bucks, I got Walmart a while back, so let's do this too, whoop, Uh, that should be good. And that's the puree inside. And, uh, you know, whenever I get everything uh, ready, I'll put it all together and I'll review it for you guys. Alright. Uh, hope you like this part. And also, I wanted to film what it looked like whenever I, I use the food processor, too. Alright. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I just made the uh, egg salad, and while well, I'm using it, I got two, I'm going to make two sandwiches, two different types of bread. I got the pumpkin spice, you know, that's more for toast, but I thought I'd try it with egg salad, and also the rye. This is the Nichols, Nichols Country Style Deli Rye that I buy at Walmart. Usually this is like 218, I think, I think it's 218 at Walmart, and what I'm going to do is I put a little bit of lettuce. A little bit of lettuce on here. Get that in better. It's kind of weird putting lettuce on pumpkin spice bread, but I wanted to try it out. Just a little bit of lettuce for some crunch. And here's the look at the potato salad I just made. And you see there's the fresh pieces of celery in there. And I also got pureed celery, pureed red onion. See? And pureed, uh, oh, jalapeno peppers. Well, let me go ahead and. Mm. Oh, I forgot to get something. Hold on. There we go. I forgot to put a little something on top of these. I got some ground black pepper. This is from Ollie. It's 69 cents for this big thing. Usually I get the crushed black pepper, but for now, doing it one hand is just easier with this. What I got, I got a lot on there. And also for Diane, I got some more of the garlic powder. I love garlic powder too. Okay. So let's try both sandwiches. This is these this is my excellent egg salad. Mm. 
That is really good. I love egg salad. I bet you all like this egg salad. I should add some more jalapenos, but it's really good. And the bread fell apart. It's tough eating with one hand and holding the can with the other, but it has to be done. Now let's try it with the uh, pumpkin spice bread. I've never done this before with pumpkin spice bread, believe me. It gives it an unusual complexity. It gives it a sweetness to it. It's pretty good on this sweet bread, too. I bet you guys were all like this, uh, in my excellent egg salad sandwiches. Sandwiches got a little bit messed up. But it's excellent guys. I bet you guys will really like this stuff. So please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care of my legion.